Hi guys, it's Angela. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my L3 Waxy Wonders RTS haul. Um, this came in two separate shipments, but I think I did a total of four orders. So um, let's just go ahead and get started. Let me show you my samples first. So I got two sets of samples because it came in two orders, but I did already melt one of my samples. So I got two of the cookie therapy and you guys, this is really good. It's hard to smell on cold, but yeah, I really ended up liking the cookie therapy that I did put in a pre-order for it. I didn't think I was going to, but I did. <laughs> I also got please you think I cleaned, which I was very interested in and trying. Um, I had never smelled this one before. Let's see if we can change the light here for you. Yeah, it smells like a really fresh, like lemongrass scent. We have Dreamweaver, and Dreamweaver is, I believe, lavender or sweet lavender with like a sugar cookie dough or sugar cookie dough bread. I think that's what it is. That one smells really good if you like lavender. Bamboo. This is a really strange one to my nose. I can't really. It's like floral and green. It's, it's very floral and green. Last time I smelt it, I thought I got some type of like foodie note, but I'm not really picking that up today. And then my other sample is in pineapple, dragon fruit, and mango. This is a really fruity cocktail, tropical fruity cocktail. So almost like, I don't know, like a pineapple slushy kind of. That one smells really nice. So I figure, I, I'll show you guys, I think, the loaves first. Um, we'll get this out of the way. These are the polypropylene 4x4 bags. I got 100 of them. I mainly get them for friends. So when I send friends gifts, I have some on hand so I can send them samples and stuff. So yeah, let's get started on our loaves. I have a lot. Oh, here's a sticker. Where's my other sticker? I got two stickers. If you stumble, make it a part of your dance. And every morning we are born again. What we do today matters most. So those are very cute, like those. Let's see. I don't wanna I'm running out of counter space here. So, okay. We'll start with this guy. I got a lot of loaves this time, you guys, so this is going to be a long video. <laughs> if you haven't already, I did unbox these um, live on my Instagram if you want to check that out. But this is the same, same wax. This is Hotel Honolulu in Hawaiian Hibiscus Guava Gain Island Fresh. It's a very... The guava is quite prominent um, and so is the Gain Island Fresh. It's really pretty. I guess I get a little bit of the hibiscus. It's really pretty tropical without being like overly fruity but I would say it's mostly like a clean scent. Next we have one that I kind of wish I would have got two of and it is a Cotton Candy Cantaloupe and this one smells really good you guys. Definitely, like, smells like a melon ball. Mmm. It, it's more cantaloupe now than it was a couple days ago. Mmm, it smells so good. And the cotton candy just adds this, like, really nice sweetness to it. I think I'm going to fall in love with that scent. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I have Summer Scoops and Green Apple. And Summer Scoops is, like, a strawberry ice cream kind of scent. And I thought this one sounded really lovely with the addition of like the bright crisp green apple. And I'm mainly getting summer scoops. That's the dominant note in here for sure. You do get a little bit of like this tart kind of crisp green apple in the background. But yeah, that one is really good. I think it'll be good for summer. We have... Fresh picked strawberries and saltwater taffy. 
The fresh picked strawberries is very strong. Almost, I don't know, fresh picked strawberries doesn't really smell like fresh strawberries to me. It almost smells like syrupy or like covered in sugar kind of. That's what it kind of reminds me of. The saltwater taffy does add like a different dimension of sweetness in there, but mostly I just get the strawberry. Next we have cotton candy frosting fizzy soda strawberry. Mm, so the first thing I get in this is the frosting fizzy soda. It smells really good. It's like a lime, almost like a Sprite soda. A little bit zestier than that though. Um, I'm getting a little bit of strawberry and then a tiny bit of cotton candy as well. It's really good. I'm really happy I picked that one up. That one's delicious. Okay, next we have actually a duplicate that I did email Jennifer about, and it is the Fresh Pick Strawberry Saltwater Taffy. I did not purchase two of these. I only purchased eight loaves in that order, and it came with nine. So I emailed her, but I still haven't heard back from her yet. Um, if I can send it back to her. So then I'll probably have to email her too. Next we have my custom in cinnamon sugar coffee house cupcakes at Tiffany's. And this is a really good coffee scent. It's almost like a cinnamon sugar, brown sugar kind of scent with a little bit of like a chocolatey note and toffee in the background. It's really pretty. Really enjoy that one. Can't have enough of that one. I still have my custom bag, and now I have a loaf. So, I think she's also offering, partly, the next restock I saw that she's offering cinnamon sugar, coffee house, sugar cookie royale, which also sounds really good. So without the cupcakes at Tiffany's, so if you're interested in trying it but don't want the chocolate note, I think that would be a really good um, option for you. Sorry about the door. My boyfriend thinks that he's just going in and out and he thinks he's quiet. Okay, next I got actually <laughs> three of, and it is in Peep Show. You guys, this is so good. I got two puppy packs um, last time, and I melted a whole puppy pack, and I was like, oh my gosh. She did incredible making this. This is coconut cream pie, peeps, and salted caramel, and this is just such a delicious, like, whipped cream coconut with, like, sweetened marshmallows and a little bit of caramel. Oh, you guys, it's so good. It's so yummy. Um, I highly recommend that one. Um, you have to like sweet scents, though, but I got three, and I didn't get all three at once. I actually just got one in one order, and then when I came back for my next order, there was still a whole bunch available, so I got another one, and then in my last order, there was still like I don't know, six or eight available, so I picked up another one. So um, I did let people, you know, have time to buy it if they wanted to. And I think there still might be two up last time I looked yesterday. Um, but yeah, it's really, really yummy. One of my favorite coconut, like, scents that I've smelled to date. It is so good. Um, okay, we still have more loaves. <laughs> I told you I picked up a lot. Next is Caramel Tobacco, Vanilla Cookies, Pink Sugar, and Sugar Cookie Royale. This one was like kind of, I don't know, out of my wheelhouse a little bit. Um, this one smells so good. You really get, you really get the sugar cookie for sure. Um, the Caramel Tobacco is there. You get this like light, fruity, dried tobacco note. Um, it's really pretty. I wouldn't say it's dominantly tobacco, but the tobacco is, is there. Um, it's a really sweet, more like bakery fragrance to me. Um, but yeah, I think I'm really going to love that one. Are there more loves in here? Let me see. There's some here. Okay. We have clean cotton, pink sugar, and lavender. And you guys, I have fallen head over heels for clean cotton. It is such a beautiful, bright, juicy laundry scent to my nose. And somebody did let me know that it was a Yankee Candle type, which I haven't really had much experience with the Yankee Candle. This smells 
really good. The lavender is there. It, it adds this like fresh spa scent to it. The pink sugar adds a little bit of depth and then the clean cotton just, it's so beautiful and fresh and clean without being astringent. I love that. I'm so glad I picked that up. Not a nighttime blend though for me, I don't think. Um, I'll probably use it in the daytime and more like throughout the house. So this is the white chocolate apple toffee. This one has been sitting on Jennifer's site for quite some time. And I did hear some people talk about it and say that they really liked it. And I was like, you know what? It's been there for so long. Just pick it up. You're really interested in what it smells like. So I picked it up. And this is really good. Her white chocolate is not like waxy or like plasticky at all. It adds a really nice like sweetness to it, like a cocoa butter should. And um, yeah, the apple toffee, I would say the apple comes off more of like a green apple or even like a honey crisp apple. Um, something a little bit tartar than a mac apple. And the toffee just adds a really good like sweetness to it. That one's really good. Next we have Downy Water Lily Jasmine Spin Cycle and Bubblegum. You guys know I love my Water Lily Jasmine and Spin Cycle is such a great laundry fragrance without being like, um, I don't know, without being like fabric softener. I don't know. It's just really juicy in my opinion. Oh yeah, you definitely, you get bubble gum, but it's not like overwhelmingly bubble gum, which I was a little bit concerned about. This is a very fresh, delicate, feminine fragrance with the added sweetness of the bubble gum. So I think you have to like bubble gum to like it. But, oh, it's such an interesting combination. I think I'm really going to like that one. Wow, we got a, we got a lot of loaves. <laughs> In my lives, I did it in two parts, so I didn't see them all together like this. <laughs> um, next is a scent. Um, I was really interested in trying and hoping that the cream cheese frosting would come out. So this is Cupcakes at Tiffany's cream cheese frosting and I was hoping that um, I could smell the frosting part of it and not just Cupcakes at Tiffany's because I didn't want just like another Cupcakes at Tiffany's, you know, scent. And you guys, the cream cheese frosting is very pronounced in this blend. This smells just like cream cheese frosting, like thick cream cheese frosting on top of like a carrot cake or something delicious smells so good definitely different it's not just cupcakes at Tiffany's it's really sweet and just decadent very rich um, okay next let's do the couple scoops that I have and the first one is evening in the Hamptons and I can't remember who hauled this I apologize if you're watching um, she said she really liked it and I was like I don't even know what this smells like and I'm just gonna get it cuz I you know I wanted a good recommendation. So when I smell this, I smell a white floral, a heavy white floral. And I'm trying to pinpoint what floral it is because it's not gardenia. It's not jasmine. It smells almost like a, maybe like magnolias, something of that effect. I'm not really sure. Um, however, this is described as like a laundry scent, which I don't, or it's like, sun-dried linen or something like that. I'm not sure. This does not smell like that to me. This is heavy white floral, no laundry. So that's what I got with that one. It smells really good. It's just not what I thought it was going to smell like. And then this one is Gummy Bears, Blackberry, Watermelon, and Salty Sea Air. I love all Salty Sea Air blends. With this one, I'm getting a very light watermelon, almost cucumber scent from this one with the salty sea air. I'm not getting gummy bears and I'm not getting blackberry. It's a very like watery watermelon, like very light. It smells good. I'm going to let that one cure though, because, um, I'm going to see if the blackberry comes out and the gummy bears. So we have that, put that box down there. And then we have some other shapes. I apologize if you can hear my dog barking outside. She hates anything that's motorized and these kids in the neighborhood drive up our, they come up our driveway to use it, you know, for their bikes. Um, but they're like motorized um, bikes. So she, like electric bikes, she hates them. Um, so that's what you hear in the background. <laughs> so let's see, I have some cloud cakes. 
So I guess we'll just do the couple cloud cakes and then move on here. First is Raspberry Whip Blackberry Sugared Violets. And I love Blackberry Sugared Violets and I've heard a lot of um, talk about the Raspberry Whip. So I really wanted to try it. This is good. Um, you definitely get this like soft, almost perfumey like scent. I think it might be coming from the Blackberry Sugared Violets, the perfumey note. But this reminds me of a perfume. I just can't pinpoint what it is. It reminds me of something from my childhood though. So if I figure that out, I will let you guys know. <laughs> Next is a cloud cake in blue sugar, pink sugar crystals. This is a slightly masculine, kind of like musky berry scent. I get a little bit more of like a berry note in that one. Nothing like super descriptive. Um, it smells really good though, so not ha like upset that I bought it. <laughs> this one's Salty Sea Air Blackberry Sugar Violets. Mm, yeah, I definitely get a lot more Salty Sea Air in this one. The Blackberry Sugar Violets is um, in the background, but it's really pretty. I feel like it's a very like soft feminine spring fragrance. Next we have some bunts. Try not to make this like the longest video, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, so I picked up two bunts in the same scent of Angel Food Cake, Fresh Picked Strawberries, and Sweet Bakery Dough. I almost got a loaf in this and then I decided not to. Um, but then my friend Kimmy really wanted it, so I picked up her a bunt as well. This is such a good fragrance, you guys. The Sweet Bakery Dough is such a good creamy, sh like sugar cookie kind of scent to me. Mm, it's so good. The Fresh Picked Strawberries adds like a really good sweetness to it. I love that one on Warm. It's so good. And then I also picked up two of the Candied Limes. I had never seen this scent offered before, and I've been just loving lime scents, so he's going down. Um, this is a very sweet, sweet lime. It is not tart at all. Um, I mostly am reminded of like a sanded like lime drop candy. Um, I don't know if you've ever had like the sanded like lemon drop candies, but it reminds me of that but in lime very sweet very good though I love that scent okay somebody was talking about this scent on the Facebook group that they picked it up and were so glad that they were able to get it and this is Queen of Asgard and I was all well shoot I guess I'm gonna get that one too because <laughs> I did look at it but I didn't put it in my cart and then that just solidified that I needed it um sorry if this is just like not focusing this entire time it's pretty frustrating and um, this is agave calla lily and citrus this is like a very green floral scent but it's not nothing that I'm like reminded of like in reality I don't really know I don't know if I've ever smelled anything like that it's kind of sweet I'm not really picking up the citrus it's more of like this green floral note. I also picked up Sweet Lavender Waffle Cone and Vanilla Lace. I love Sweet Lavender. I love Vanilla Lace. So the addition of the Waffle Cone was just sounded really good. Yeah, this is a really good like bakery lavender scent. I love what Vanilla Lace does to scents. It just adds this like really like deep vanilla scent. It's so good. I love it. And then this is Saltwater Mermaid Frosty Fizzy Bubbly. My friend Danny was really interested in getting this one, but with um, the fizzy soda. And so um, she said the Frosty Fizzy Bubbly is different than fizzy soda. So I just wanted to try it and see what I thought of it. And I'm mostly just getting like a really heavy lime soda fragrance. Almost reminds me of like Mountain Dew, I guess. Um... Not really picking up on the Saltwater Mermaid, but I think that one may need to just chill out for a little while. Um, I know everybody is really interested in the Saltwater Mermaid um, sampler, I think, um, for the pre-order. I did not do that one, though. Okay. Now we have some puppy packs. 
This one is in Sweet Lavender White Elephant Exchange. Yeah, a really good like sugared, um, powdered sugared kind of sweet lavender fragrance with a little bit of like a bakery note in there. Lavender Lemonade Soda. This is a scent that I actually melted the other day. I had a cloud cake of it. And I would say it turned to be a, um, like a powdered lemonade mix, like, but extra sweet. And then a like a little bit of lavender, like it definitely was detectable, but it was a very sweet fragrance. Um, it smells kind of like powdered sugar to me. Um, I know I said that on a couple of them, but that's what it's reminding me of. <laughs> This, I wish I had it in a loaf. This is Boardwalk Taffy and Beach Nights. You guys, if you hadn't, haven't had this blend yet, I highly recommend it. I haven't even melted it yet. I got a sample of it, and I was like, I need that. <laughs> this smells so good. It's like, just like super rich and decadent and sweet, and it's like not overly bakery or anything. It's like marshmallowy and yummy. It's just, it's so good. <laughs> This is one that I requested, Jennifer Poor, and this is Babes in Toyland, which is cream soda and cotton candy. This is a softer scent, I will say. Like, it throws throughout the whole house, but as far as, like, intensity, it's probably more like a 6 out of 10. Um, it's so beautiful, though. Such a great cotton candy fragrance. I love it. I will keep ordering that one every time she makes it. Next is a puppy pack in Snuggle Cotton Candy and Clean Cotton. And this is definitely um, heavy on the Snuggle. Um, you do get cotton candy as well. There's definitely a, you know, ribbon of sweetness in there. And I smell the Clean Cotton as well. Iconic Piggy. Here's a rose shape. I don't know why my camera just, I think the background makes it not want to focus. Um, but yeah, like mostly a laundry scent um, to my nose. I mean, what else would it be? It's snuggle and clean cotton. <laughs> so that one's going to be really nice though. And then this is a strange color. <laughs> um, it's kind of like this like muted brown color. But the scent is in Grape Soda Lemonade. Um, this one's good. It's not quite as strong as I thought it would be. Um, the lemonade in here also has like a powdered mix vibe to it that makes it like extra sweet. The grape soda is coming off more like a grape lollipop to me. I'm not really getting any like fizzy note from it. Um, it's on the mild side though. So we will see when it um, melts if it's like a heavy thrower or if it's just kind of like a soft scent but it smells nice I picked up another pack of a espresso sugar cookie royale I haven't melted this one yet but it was so good and I saw it and I almost said I have to get it so she has these like really cute heart shapes look at this I've never seen this little fire hydrant before I'm gonna show you the fire hydrant isn't he cute adorable um I love this scent because it's like no nonsense it's espresso with a sweet sugar cookie it's lovely I highly recommend it if you don't want chocolate if you don't want cinnamon or caramel or anything like that that one's really yummy and then this is the last of the order you guys sorry that if I like blew through this <laughs> this is lime cotton candy and fizzy soda yum this sounds so so delicious I can't wait to melt this one Mm, the fizzy soda is definitely the dominant note here, but the lime adds an extra like zang to it. And of course, the cotton candy adds an extra sweetness. And I have just been loving cotton candy mixed with pretty much anything. <laughs> so yeah, that is my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know down below if you guys participated in the pre-order or if you plan to participate in the upcoming RTS, which I think is on... The 15th or the 16th, I would have to double check to know for sure, but um, yeah, I love sharing this with you guys, and thank you so much for watching, and we will talk again soon. All right, bye.